Well, this is the most exciting uh, educational development that has occurred at Weinberg since we moved up here to the new campus in 1981. This project is all about the creation of an engineering and design faculty. We want to bring under one roof anything at school that a boy does that is creative and constructive. We've already got creative arts and visual arts in that space. With the introduction of electronics, with construction, with woodworking, all housed in that one faculty area, it's going to be a real showcase for the boys' talents, for those that are actually creating and making something. Well, what excites me the most about this new faculty is the hands-on learning that the boys will get. It's also the skills that they'll be able to take into a trade and follow it if they go into the industry. So we in the industry need to create a facility that can feed the industry, that can make sure that we create tradesmen, we create engineers to build the future of South Africa. In terms of a project like this for the South African educational landscape, it's incredibly important. So we know we're going to be sending out generation after generation of young men into the South African landscape who are high functioning academics but also have a skill set in the technical subjects. They'll also have other skills as well. They're not going to be limited to just an engineering background. They'll be able to operate in many different spheres because of the breadth of subject choices that we offer and we have the backing of industry already, we have the education department fully supporting this initiative, and we definitely need young people that can perform in these areas, in these technical subjects, in these trades, to guarantee the future of South Africa. Our vision is that every child in South Africa has an education. Every child in South Africa has got the opportunity to choose which way they'd like to go. And it's time to go back to basics. Those students would then have a mentor at the company within that industry, we would send them their reports once a term. We would expect the students to go and visit them for work placements during the holiday. What is very important for the foundation is that you are able to learn the, the theory and the practice. And the two together are the most important fundamental skills that enable you to work with your hands. We need tradesmen, we need to create, we need to build, and we need to give the children the wings to soar and to allow them to dream. Super Morris means never give up and this is a driving force behind my style of leadership and leading boys who have this ingrained in them to never give up and to overcome every difficulty makes it so much easier to lead. The faculty will be entirely funded by donor funding. We need just over 30 million to build the faculty and we've been very lucky to receive some generous donations so far but we still require about 20 million rand in order to make this project a reality. The investment in this facility is investing in the future of our children and the economic growth in South Africa. I want to see all the children in South Africa have an opportunity to get a good quality education and gain skills which will help them to go out into the world and make a change. Only you know what you are good at and each child is good at something. Go out there and create what you can create and never stop dreaming. Whether you have 100 Rand or 10 million Rand to donate, we would like to hear from you. This is your opportunity to make a difference and improve the educational standard in South Africa.